hello members in this video i'm going to show you how to install windows from scratch so without wasting much time you're going to begin by downloading windows but uh, it's always recommended that you purchase the windows but for us in this video i'm going to show you how you can download free windows which are cracked and cracked. they're not so true <laughs> so let's go uh to download windows you just come to this website called the pirates bay the pirates bay dot org as the name suggests you've had it you have had it before yeah i've had yeah, it I, remember, yeah. I used to watch uh download some subtitles yeah so there's a lot of the lot of stuff here a lot a lot a lot so you can browse torrents and then say torrents you'll find movies porn video everything Super books and everything yeah movies games and uh applications for computers for mac everything that you want oh, okay. yeah so you can find it here so here we shall also get the what the cracked windows even software that are cracked we find them here okay okay so after reaching your pirates bay what else windows or? you need first to have a, a torrent downloader okay so a torrent downloader can get it just by simply downloading your torrent but i have the best torrent downloader that I always use which is called um, business you cannot download these things. Oh, you watch the video. Yeah, watch the video. Yeah. <laughs> so I have, have a very best what uh, download is called what? Um, it's called FDM free download free download manager. I think you've heard FDM. of it before. It's FDM. Of IDM. Okay. No, FDM. This is the best for me. I don't know for others, but this is the best for me. I use IDM. So in here in FDM you can simply download it here so this fdm you can use to download many things not just only torrents you can use to download it videos on youtube and very you high can download speed. playlist uh, yeah for me it's a very nice speed okay. fdm so you can use this fdm to do what to download different types of torrents so after you install this fdm for me i already have it you just download here click download tab and then to download and once you download it you just install it by just simply clicking install next 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 okay but me already have it so when you install the fdm you'll have something like this so everything that you download will be I put here in the form of a list okay. you can download torrents you can download movies you can load playlists you can load videos anything that you want to download as long as it is heavy you can do what you can use this one to download sure. so once you have this one it means that you can download what you can download the what a torrent so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to what? To the Pirates Bay. As you can see, I'm on Pirates Bay. So I'm going back to the home of Pirates Bay. And uh, there's a lot of advertisement here. I'm going to search for Windows 10. Okay. So to search for Windows 10, you can get any Windows. Just write Windows 10 and then press Enter. And then you see the Windows here. So all of these are Windows because people share. They use them to share. They, they share everything that they okay. have. Okay and uh here the there's we have we have what we call cedars cedars is the number of computers for example once i download this something here okay. you see here will be something called seeding okay. for example let me show you if i download the torrent S -E -E -D -I -N -G. Yeah. yeah if i download the torrent after it finishes downloading mm -hmm. it will start seeding so seeding it means that my website will also become a what a server i mean my computer okay. will become a server so people who want to download also this torrent they can do what they can uh, get okay. this torrent from my what from my computer okay. yeah so okay. if i disconnect then it will be removed from the server okay. so the logic so they don't have server the servers are the people's computers okay. so when i'm com connected then other people can do what can start picking from what from this one okay. so it means that the but many the cedars but don't you think the privacy will be not really not really yeah just they take the, that data in case you don't you don't want but to share you in, it, then it's, gone. it's gone yeah it's gone okay. or if you, you can even stop seeding that's also possible okay. so the it, what does it mean so it means that the many the cedars is that people sharing the many the cedars mm -hmm. the faster okay. they download okay. so if for example if you go down here you'll see something that is having very few cedars like 28. 28 this will be slower than okay. the other yeah, okay. so okay. i can also sort according to cedars i can so, sort okay. according to size so, okay. if i click here seeding see okay. the few cedars will come on top okay. if i click here the few the more the cedars will come yeah. on top so if i want to read more about this torrent i can just simply click on it 
But if I want to download it on spot without reading about it, I can just simply click on this magnet. Okay. You can see this magnet. Yeah. yeah. So if I click on this magnet, it will launch my what? My torrent downloader. Okay. And say no problem, you should just download it. Me already download it. When? So some time back. <laughs> I already have it. So you see, when you have it, then you can say, "Do you want that trackers?" I don't know what's the meaning of trackers, but what's the size? Oh, three point eh? something GB. Right? Yeah, three point something GB. Your, let me see. Where so what you do? You download and then you leave it. You don't wait for it. Okay. So if it is fast, it can take like three hours, four hours. Just depends. Okay. And the good about this download, uh, downloaders is that. Well, even if your internet goes, mm. when it will pause, when you connect, it will, pause, okay. it will resume. Yeah, it's not like yeah. the browser. But if you download from the browser, when the internet goes, next time you connect, it will start it's a what? Yeah. A fresh, which is so, so we, hectic. We uh huh. Yeah. Okay, right. For better experience. So I already have this Windows. Mm. Uh, I think it is Windows. I think this is it. Windows 10, 10 Pro. Me. Yeah. Mm. So you can see the some which are cracked, was around. They can even show you the date when it was uploaded. Okay. This was 2019. There are some of 2020 here. Yeah, so true. Can you see this one? Yep. For example, if I click on this, original Microsoft original Windows 2020. Ah, I think this is the best. I don't know, but if I click on it, then it will do what? It will launch my downloader, and it will do what? It will start downloading. So I can sort here according to the number of the of the date when it was added. You see here, so if I click on date added, they'll be sorted. So if I go on top, I download many things because I'm a blogger, you know. I blog, <laughs> I'm all in one. <laughs> so yeah, they give 17 hours, but it will reduce. They reduce, they reduce. Sometimes they'll be even come to four hours. Okay. So you just download and go. Okay. But if you're in Africa, hey. So much. 5 GB of internet can cost you some good amount of money. money yeah. So you better download the softwares here and go them there. Oh, okay. if you work with a company which have Wi-Fi, you can use their Wi-Fi. But yeah, yeah. It's personal data connection. That won't be a you can feel it. Okay, so I already have Windows. I don't need these ones, but okay. if you want them, you can download them. Okay. But I think these are the most updated one. But still, when you install the Windows, they'll update. So you don't need to automatically, and they'll come the same version. So I don't need this thing, okay? So I can delete it. Uh, so if I sort according to size, I will be able to do what? To see the windows that I have here. Okay. These are the windows, okay? So yeah, if I click on this folder, yep. it will show me where these windows are located. Oh, okay. Here, for example, I click here to show okay. me the their windows. Yeah, they got in the file. I have a lot of files there. So it will take my computer some time to do what to load. Yeah. Mm. Is it okay. one TB, one tera? Uh, no, no, it's five hundred GB SSD. Okay, SSD. Okay. So if I open it, it's almost like one tera. Okay. So this window comes with uh, some. Uh, this is the window itself. If okay. I open the folder, so it uh, it comes with some software that can help me to do what mm -hmm. to create the windows. I mean to to boot the windows. Two, three? To, to create the windows, create, to okay. build the windows. So among the software that I come, we have this one, Refus. Refus is a software that you'll need to make your, webs, your, 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 your flash disk a bootable device. We have Refus, this one, just double click on it and then you install it. You see, it comes with it. Some, some they don't give it, but some they give it. But if you don't have it, you can as well search it. So, so what that's is, another what thing that you have to important? note. Refus, it makes the, the flash disk to become what? Uh, to become a bootable device. To become a website, uh, something that can do what? Can boot a window. Okay. It makes a flash it become like a CD that boots okay. what? Boots windows. So it's a very small software, like two MBs. So just MB. click, oh yeah, refresh it. Very simple thing. Just start and start. Download it. Just to see, one MB, less than two MBs. Okay. I already have it, Refresh. I think. Okay, okay. Yeah, in case it did not come with. So it it is used to do what to make, make a flash disk a bootable device so that you can be able to create that flash disk as a window setup okay. so i will i can simply do what i can simply 
click on here and then I'll download that reference. Okay. Rafas. Uh -huh. So if I have, if I have Rafas, oh, there's another one called Power ISO. That's the most popular one. Power ISO. Power ISO. So Power ISO, that's the most popular one. Power ISO. Okay. okay. So Power ISO, if I click on download, just see the one on top. It is even to burn CDs. Okay, to create this, yeah. So, so, so another simple, less than one MB, another simple software. Wow. Okay, so I can just also download it simply here. Mm -hmm. So, me already have Power ISO, I already have Refer, so I don't need to download it. But you can as well just simply download it here. Okay. So after having those in place, I have the Windows. I have the uh, bootable device okay. software. So I need to launch the bootable device software that I can make my what my bootable device. So here I will. Simply open my power ISO. Power ISO is what I'm going to use. So you're not going to use that reference. Uh, reference is also, uh, okay. is, I will not use because I don't have this one. No, okay. all are work and the other the steps are almost the same. So I'll, this will have to be re registered. Say I don't have mine to register, just say continue. And then after, I have not started the process of what? Of booting the Windows. Mm -hmm. To boot the Windows, I'll come to options. I mean, I'll come to tools. And then I'll come here to make a bootable device. But before I make a bootable device, I'll have to get my what? My flash what disk. What do you mean? Editable or what? Bootable. Bootable, okay. Yeah. You can even this thing one. needs to be clear because we are paying our coupons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, how much you pay? Bootable. I can update, eh? One more thing. You said when you download the window, mm. the windows now. Mm. Does it come with, with, with the reference or something like Some that? they come, some, some they don't come. It's just okay. someone like you who yeah. want to share. So if you want, you can share with it. Because sometimes some people don't share with it. Okay. So let me get a pen drive here, a flash disk. I have external, okay, no problem. But how? Taka, taka, taka. Taka asset. Taka like You're good to go, man. I want more. <laughs> uh, where is my pen drive, though? I cannot see the word that the audience use. So you first connect your what? Your hard disk, I mean your, your flash disk. Okay. But that flash disk should be more than 4GB. Okay, sure. At least 4GB, if it's okay. so small. Mm -hmm. And uh, the data that's on flash disk, just know, it's going to be formatted and deleted. So I'll open my flash disk, there it is. So let me see if I don't have important things here. You can see, I don't have something important here. I don't have them. I don't have something important here. Oh, I need these things. <laughs> I don't need these stuff. They are available, but I don't need them. Okay, uh, I don't have them. I will need them, baby. Let me Game get them. Game Let me cut it. Okay, I need these things. Should put on my bed desktop. Wow. So many things on my desktop. Then drop them somewhere. Huh? So many things on my desktop. Okay, there we go. So everything that is on my pen drive is going to be deleted. So after opening uh, Power ISO, mm -hmm. I'll come to Tools. Mm -hmm. Then I come to what? Make bootable device. Create bootable device. So when I click Create bootable device, it will warn me. I sure yeah, I need to provide that administrator's privileges. Yeah. I say no problem. It's okay. Then I say yes, and then uh, it will load. And then uh, to do what? To bring an advertisement. Say no problem. And then I say continue without registering. So it will bring this uh, input. So I'll have to select now the image file. The image, the image file is the Windows file that we downloaded. Okay. okay? So I should be knowing where it is located. Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to just send this shortcut on desktop that. I know I'll get the shortcut from where? From desktop. Okay. I hope you understand. You say I put the shortcut on desktop. Instead of sending the whole stuff, you just... I can do it also. I can also but cut and put on desktop. I can put somewhere I can simply browse to. Okay. Or, me and what I do, I can send this just shortcut on desktop. That okay. I will just select that shortcut. Okay. I'll take me to the that window. Okay. So, I'll just click here. Select image file. So, browse. I'll click here. Browse. And then, desktop. I'll click on desktop. And I can just you see they are here. Now how will I know? I think it is all there, just the same. So this last one, the one that I just created. So I'll select it. Just double click on it. That will be selected. Mm -hmm. Then here, select the what. Make sure that you're pointing in your pen drive. 
some time back I did a mistake mm. I formatted my my hard disk so you have to make sure that you're pointing at your what right. your, okay. your, 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 I formatted my hard disk I selected wrong thing and then okay. I ended so, deleting oh, everything okay, okay. Destination USB drive. Uh -huh. you have to select the size of your what of the pen drive you have to see the oh, oh, like so, long. so after doing that these so other things why, what did you say this one does it's, it's where I will get the watch, the windows, so the windows are going to be put okay. and I can use that one to now to boot any computer that I want. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So after selecting the flash disk, mm -hmm. I run into set these other things, just leave them, just say start. Okay. Then they'll warn you that everything on your flash disk mm -hmm. is going to be deleted. Mm -hmm. Then say okay, no problem. And then to start doing what? To start, uh, to start uh, creating the bootable device and they'll give you the time here. Mm -hmm. So for this time let me pause the video mm -hmm. until it finishes what? Uh -huh. It finishes installing. Yeah, it's creating the video. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> you can post up as those guys are creating. So we have finished since uh, yeah, we have finished then what? Uh, creating the oh, okay. bootable device. Okay. So I just simply press here on OK, okay and then I close and then uh, if I come to my bootable device, I'll, I'll, think about I'll it. just uh, find some. Do you put the video? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I resume the video. Okay. So if I come here to the bootable device, I'll find this kind of content that I don't understand. So, pen drive, yeah, on the pen drive. This is the pen drive. So, I'll just get this pen drive the way it is here, and then we go and reset the heart, our computer. So, what's the average speed of SSD compared to hard drive? Is there any like? So, after making the bootable device, what else you have not installed the what? The did the you, did you on the mic again? Yeah, you have to <coughs> we have to yeah. consider the laptop that you're going to install on. For example, the laptop that I'm going to use to install on right now is Acer Aspire V5. Yeah. So you have to find and uh, we have to search for it. I mean the boot the bootable key, the boot key. Uh, so that key will help us to know i mean uh, that key will help us to boot our laptop because when you're sitting on the laptop every laptop has its yeah, own unique. bootable key okay. so to do that yeah. but they're always same always f2 or f8 something like that or f12 something like that so i'll just have i come here boot menu boot menu i can call it boot menu key for S S C S S S What's the name? Aspire V five. Aspire V five. Aspire V five. So, as I shall find discussions. So here they are saying F two. So F two. Others they are saying F two. Majority are saying F two. So others are saying F twelve. So I'll try all of them. That's I'll try all of them. You can as well follow the what, the tutorials That's for other exactly people, and they'll tell us the boot key. So, but we shall do what? We shall try F2 and F12. Oh, we actually. hope it will work for us. Mm -hmm. So, if you have any of your laptop, if it is HP, if it's what, then you have to come up to search for its okay. boot key and follow the discussions and then you'll be able to know what? It's boot key. Mm -hmm. Now, let us go to the Acer and boot our what? Our computer. The laptop that are going to change the windows. So what you have to know first, if you don't want to lose your data, you have to know the size of your local disk C. You have to know the size because it is according to this size that you'll be able to identify the disk. Otherwise, if you don't know the size, then you may not be identify you may not be able to identify the disk because the name of the disks will not be mentioned. So you can see this one is 193, and then we have another disk 195. One two ninety five and three ninety five. So the smallest, the smallest is the what? The system disk one eighty three. So what we're going to do right now? We're going to restart this computer, and then we see how we install the Windows. So I'll just switch it off by just pressing this key. I'll switch it off. Just a long press it for like uh, ten seconds, and then it goes. So what I'll do, I'll just put the hot, this one in the pen drive. The, 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 this is the 
the flash disk that I used to do what? To create a bootable device. So I'm going to put this flash disk in our heart, in our USB port. There it goes. Then after remember, we say that uh, our our heart, our key, it is F12 or F2, F2. for bootable. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to switch on and uh, before it goes on, I'll press F2 to get the bootable menu. So I'll switch on, so before it goes on, I'll just be pressing F2 to do what, to get the bootable menu. I hope it will work. Sure it will. Are you sure? So it's loading there. Try escape F2. There we go. Uh oh. I didn't want this. I wanted boot menu. But see, this one can also work. Let me first exit and uh, I show you how. I wanted another boot menu. This one is like using procedure. Uh, F12. Let me try F12. And as I was saying, F12. So I'll press F12. F12 there. Uh oh. So once it starts loading like that, just know it is it has skipped it. So I'll restart again. Members, I hope you're following. Yeah. F12. Bank. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. F12. Until a turn is made. Is just pressing. pressing. See that you may not miss that window tie. Explore beyond limits. Oh, oh, I've missed it. Wait, 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 wait. No, it won't work there. I think uh, how to use what? If told it has failed, let's try escape. And if escape failed, then you shall have to try. To say it using what? Using uh, the sequences. So I'll press escape, escape, escape. I think escape will work. Escape. So you press escape? Yeah. Maybe escape will work. That's sweet. Mm -hmm. Last time, let's give escape a try. Try to wait. It has failed. Okay, let us go to the boot menu and use the sequence F2. to set. So I'll restart it and then I'm going to change using what using boot menu. So F2. So press F2. I want you the sequence waiting that are going to make our pen drive to be and given a high process. priority. Yeah, but it works for every computer almost. So this is our menu. What I'm going to navigate, I'm going to navigate up to booting using the arrow keys. So there we are in booting. And then I'm going to come to boot manager. Mm, I, can see. Yeah, I think this is the boot manager. Okay, let's come and see. Window boot manager. See, maybe it shall get. Window boot manager. Yes, we're booting every where the sequence priority order. Okay, this is the priority. Yeah, okay, this is the priority menu. This is the priority order. So, what we're going to do, we're going to check uh, this uh, USB, this USB 6. I'm going to put it on top. So, in case it is, it will be detected when the computer is starting okay. automatically, it will be given the high priority okay. to, to be booted on. So okay. how do you do that? You can read here down. They say that uh, select. Uh, okay. select item F6 change values, change, values. Change, uh, change that change F6 F5 F6 mm -hmm. to do what? Change, change the values. values. So if if let me come here, 
to what to mass storage i want to move it on top so uh, let me try to play f6 yeah yeah f6 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 i'm pressing f6 you see yeah yeah f6 so until i move it on top so i mean that i've given it the highest priority as long as it is give it is phone in the laptop when it is starting it will be considered as a booting manager okay. then i have to save to save we just press f10 as you can see down there yeah so I just press f10 okay. and then i'll press enter to save and exist so i'll not temper right now i hope it's going to work It's not simple money. Hmm? You see how it is not simple money. <laughs> they are making things complicated here. Yeah. So yeah. huh? They are complicated. Taking the cost of everything. Yeah, huh? So why? When, when he even knows so the simplest, the simplest the little. Thing. Okay, so there. We, if you see that thing, then you show everything is okay. So how do we do it? We just set this pen drive to be the higher to be given the highest priority when it is what when it is uh, loading so and then we shall have that uh, simple menu so uh, what i'll do i'll just click on what next. on next and then uh, i'll just click on install now so start loading set up the start so they will ask us to read these things so you can read for them so you can read if you don't read them then it will not work so you must read them so after I click next and then I click on custom install and if I press this one just just keep the previous window and just straight over it so if you want to format the previous window I put custom custom one custom install so these are the partitions that we're having before and that's what I told you before like you have to know the name of the disk and because you can see here okay. they are not named they're just having partition one partition you cannot know. know the disk okay. so you, want to, uh, you can just see this one is a is a disk that has been selected automatically okay. which is the the, the, the smallest if you still remember the one with the least size so, Mubarak, if you want huh? to uh, do them all then it's you can format all of them all and of them. then you partition them okay. fresh. But the partition part, I will skip it right now. Because, because no, the one he, don't the want, one he yeah. highlighted is the one that should be. So, the what I'm going to do, I'm going to format. Uh, so, I'll just simply delete. You can even delete it, no problem. So, I can format. And then it will be formatted. Or I can as well delete this space and it becomes a free space. Let me delete it. That I, want to, I want to merge it. So, also, these other small, small partitions that you, they are the ones that you use to keep what? Okay. window previous information like this one is 500 mbs mm. but you have to make sure it is mbs other if you don't mbs you can end up deleting your what your whole data so i'll just click on delete and they'll be deleted okay i'll come and select this one also 100 mbs other if you don't delete them you will see like as if you're having two windows, two windows okay. when uh, you're having only one window something like that i don't know or they ever seen it before you don't format them but you delete them you right? delete them okay so the windows will see how it will handle them so this is reserved uh also delete this reserve uh make sure they're mbs not gb recovery okay i get it delete it okay. if you delete gbs then you can end up deleting the what that and then you start okay. crying now GB is so i think this it's done right Wait, where is the word the one that you deleted? We formatted it, you did not delete it, right? Primary. Yeah, we formatted that one, you don't delete it. Is it the one? No, no. This is 95, I don't delete it. I mean, I think it, I, I already deleted it. I deleted it, that's why you see the delete unlocated space. Only we are here. having some GB. So, you see, it was 93. So, because delete some empty spaces, and it has become 95. Well, it was 94, yeah. Ah, okay. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to install the windows here. So I see others have space, but uh, so here what we do, just click here or next. Otherwise, if it does not work, then you may need to format all your windows. All window. no. I mean, all the, all the what, all the partitions. partitions. All the partitions. And once you do that for the first time, next time to not ask you to do what format like. Oh, okay. Because this one has already 
we had already changed it before that's yeah. why i have the ability to do that so I just click on next and then the window will see how to handle this that unlocated space and create also those useless spaces that we were having before and they're not useless but <laughs> to me they are useless so to start doing what to start counting so i'll pause the video until it finishes and then we shall do what we shall resume at first we reach there they know everything is what is tower so remember as you can see the windows has finished installing the remaining parts are just next 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 and um, you have to remove the, the what the pen drive or the USB immediately after it finishes to install for the first time Other if you leave it then if you leave it there it will restart again I guess you have to remove it so for now we shall stop from there unless there is question you can put a question in the comment section and I'll be able to do that to respond it to you. And uh, in the next video, we shall make a video on how we can crack or we can uh, activate the windows. And thank you for watching. See you.